become death. Destroyer of worlds. Dr. Oppenheimer. When did your strong moral convictions develop with respect to the hydrogen bomb? World will remember this day. 15 hours ago, an American airstream dropped one bomb on Hiroshima and destroyed a useful message to the enemy. So during the years following the war, would you say that you exerted a great influence on the atomic policies of the USA? I hope that in years to come, you will look back on your work here with pride. But today, that pride must be tempered with a profound concern. If atomic weapons are to be added to the arsenals of a warring world, then the day will come when people will curse the name of Los Alamos. The Oppenheimer matter was initiated and carried through largely through the animus of Louis Strauss. So the super was under development on your watch at Los Alamos? Yes. Didn't you accuse Oppenheimer of sabotaging the development of the super? I was never one of those to bandy around terms like sabotage, neutral. Wake up! It is Strauss. It's always been Strauss, and you know it. Why won't you fight him? It wasn't Nichols or Hoover, one of Truman's guys. It was you. You gave the file to Borden. You set him on Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer made mincemeat out of Strauss's position on the shipments of isotopes to Norway, and Strauss never forgave him for this public humiliation. We need a systematic destruction of Oppenheimer's credibility so he can never again speak on matters of national security. How many were killed in the Seventy thousand. Seventy thousand, both Hiroshima and... One hundred and ten thousand both. On the day of each bomb. Yes. I'm so proud. So proud of what you have accomplished. In the weeks and years that follow, it has been put at somewhere between 50 and 100,000. 220,000 dead at least. Yes. Any moral scruples about that? Terrible ones. It appears most scientists around this country, Robert Oppenheimer is now being pilloried and put through an ordeal because he expressed his honest opinions. This was taken 31 days after the bomb. Virtually everyone in the street, nearly a mile around, was instantly and seriously burned. Urge them to continue my research on the super. An H-bomb is 1,000 times the power of an A-bomb. It's a weapon of mass genocide. Is he dressing circles on this side of the map where they would target us, starting in New York? Would you be supportive of the dropping of a hydrogen bomb on Hiroshima? That would make no sense at all. Why? Another controversy between them centered around their differences in judgment on how the H-bomb would contribute to national security. The, 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 the target is too small. It's about the right use of our resources. Is that what you really believe? G. Robert Oppenheimer. Sphinx like Guru of the Atom. Nobody knows what you believe. Do you? You idiot. This is your community. You think the rules don't apply to the Golden Boy? Mr. President. You think anyone in Hiroshima Nagasaki gives a shit who built the bomb? Hiroshima isn't about you. Did you think that if you let them tar and feather, the little world would forgive you? It won't. Oppenheimer wanted to own the atomic bomb. He wanted to be the man who moved the earth. He talks about putting the nuclear genie back in the bottle. Well, I'm here to tell you that I know. Strauss knows that you can't do that. You'd be accepting the charges. You'll lose your job. You will lose your reputation. We'll lose our house. Robert, we have to fight. Strauss turned to the personnel security system in order to destroy Oppenheimer's effectiveness. And Strauss was able to find a few ambitious men who also disagreed with Oppenheimer's positions and envied him his prestige in government circles. Sorry. You shook his fucking hand. Spit in his face. Oh, you. you sit there. Day after day. Letting him pick our lives to pieces. I want you to. G. 
save our without and I'm gonna fika. Do it all over. You do it all the same. You know he's never once said that he regrets Hiroshima? We do it all over. Why? Because it made him the most important man who ever lived. You don't get to commit the sin. And then I was all feel sorry for you. You mean after working night and day for three years building the bomb, you then argued against the use of it? <laughs> I was asked by the Secretary of War what the views of scientists were, I gave from the views against and the views for. You supported the dropping of the atom bomb when you did. What do you mean support? support? You supported it. What do you mean support? Well, you helped pick the target, didn't you? I did my job. I was not in a policy-making position at Los Alamos. I would have done anything I was asked to do. Well, then you would have built the age bomb too, wouldn't you? I could I didn't ask you that, Doctor! In the GAC report that you co authored after the Soviet atomic test said a super bomb should never be built! They stay here, Judge Escobar. What you meant, what I meant. What, what you meant, what I meant. Who? But... And wouldn't the Russians do anything to increase their strength? If we did it, they would have to do it. Our efforts would only fuel their efforts just as it had with the atomic bomb. Just as it had with the atomic bomb, exactly! Now it's your turn to deal with the consequences of your achievement. Dr. J. Robert Officer, this board, having heard testimony from you and many of your current and former colleagues. And one day, when they've punished you enough, has come to the unanimous conclusion that you are a loyal citizen. They'll serve you salmon and potato salad. Like speeches, if you are metal. Hello, Frank. You're happy. I'm happy. So then I'm happy. You are happy that I'm happy. You're happy, I'm happy. I'm Robbie. Up and happy. Eat. Eat. You on the back, tell you all is forgiven. I feel like I can see one of those dark stars that you're working on. Just remember, it won't be for you.